Okay, so we're uh, here in Buckinghamshire, near a place called Long Crendon, which is just over there. Um, we've got the road right behind us, so literally just parked up just off the road. And um, there's a, a footpath. <clears throat> and we're going to do this lone tree. Um, it's a fairly standard shot of a lone tree, a little bit cliche but uh, if you get it right, it works. Um, and it makes a nice shot. Um, the sun keeps trying to come out. I don't know if it's going to or whether it's gonna stay in. Every time I think it's gonna come out, it sort of promises and then goes away again. But because it's quite a dull day, there's some interest in the sky. So I've decided that I'm going to shoot, do this in black and white in post-processing. I'll shoot raw. So, you know, we'll have everything in the file, but I'm looking at doing this as a black and white one. Um, I've set up, because the sky is quite light and, the, and the, uh, the field is quite dark because of the lack of light on it. I've set up uh, with a 0.6 soft edge graduated filter. And then I want to get some movement in the clouds. I'll probably do something without movement in the clouds later on as well, but to start off, I'm going to do some movement in the clouds. So I've got a high-tech 10-stop filter in there as well. We're at F11, and we're looking to do around a 30-second exposure. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm using the um, lifetime facility on the OMD EM1, and that's allowed me to just monitor the progress as the shot built up. Uh, I've got it updating every two seconds. So every two seconds I get to see the shot. There's some nice light coming, so I may just take another shot in a sec. But um, it allows me to monitor every two seconds and at 28 seconds, that was the kind of exposure that I wanted. Clouds look quite nice in that, some nice movement. Little tip is keep shooting. In these scenarios, just keep shooting. Spend half an hour or so waiting for the light to change, waiting for everything. You know, every shot is going to be different and the clouds will be better in some. If you can shoot 10, 20 shots, I'm just sorry, I'm just looking at the light that's just starting to come across here. Hopefully it's going to fall across here in a second and we'll get some nice light on the ground. Shouldn't need to have to change anything. You know, we've got this quite well controlled here. Um, one other thing just to, that I want to mention, because it's my first time using it, or second time using it, if with the truth be told. I've got my new Benro Travel Angel tripod. Uh, like I say, it's only the second time using it. I'm going to write a full review on it. But so far, I love it. Uh, it's light. It folds down small, but it's extremely stable for the size and weight of it. And uh, yes, it's a great tripod. Um, so there's more to come on that very soon. So we're just gonna wait just a bit longer. The clouds are actually even more interesting. There's just some breaks in the cloud and that's what you want. If you're doing a long exposure, you don't want solid cloud. You want nice breaks in the cloud. I would love, I would love for the, uh, for the sun to come out a little more, but it's not going to. I'm just going to try another shot, another 28 seconds, around thereabouts, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just going to remove the big stopper for a sec. The sky is actually looking really interesting. I'm just going to remove the big stop and just get um, a quick shot of the, of the killer sky. It's, it's really a, it's a killer sky at the moment. There's great light coming from the left now, so hopefully, if I time this right, it's just going to fall across here. And some interest in the land. I'm going to go now. Hopefully, this is going to move across here. And there it is. 
we've got some shadows here from the trees in the foreground. Building on the screen here, we've got light, we've got interesting sky. This could be a really good shot. As I say, I'm envisaging this in black and white. There we go, we've done 30 seconds, we're going to stop there. We're going to go back now and uh, we're going to do some post-processing. Okay, so welcome back everyone. Uh, we've now pulled the raw file from the camera and into Lightroom. And what we've got on the screen here is that raw file with absolutely nothing done to it. Um, so as I said when I was out on location I want to make this uh, a black and white that's how I envisaged the shot right from the start so I'm going to do the black and white in uh, Silver FX Pro 2 the Nick plugin um, but before I do that there's just a couple of bits and bobs that I want to do in Lightroom on the actual raw file to make it pop a little, uh, to, to bring out some of the contrast and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just change, I shot it on the uh, on the OMD EM1 at 16.9, so the RAW has come in cropped at 16.9. Now I actually want to do 16.10, okay, it's uh, it would work in 16.9 I just want a bit more of the sky so I'm just going to we've pretty much obeyed the rule of thirds here and I'm going to obey the rule of thirds basically on this tree as close as possible so I'm going to crop it like that I'm going to make sure that the sky is as I want it I like this cloud here so I'm going to make sure that stays in these wispy bits here are nice we just bring it up a bit I guess but somewhere around there is fine it doesn't really matter so that's my crop so we're going to run with that now the next thing to do is I want to bring the contrast up a lot and I'm going to really bring the contrast out you'll notice that as I bring it up these shadows start to come out which I'm keen to do so I'm going to continue to bring the contrast up the clouds are coming out too and I'm going to keep going um, do you know what I'm going to go all the way I'm going to go to 100 the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just up the clarity a little. I'm certainly not going to go all the way on the clarity, but I'm just going to go up, say, around sort of 40, something like that. Okay, that's just going to put a bit more structure into the well, into the whole image actually, into the into the uh, into the sky. A little more definition there and into this field so you can almost see the grass the, the the actual blades of grass for me because it was done through the high-tech filter um, which does definitely have a blue cast uh, I'm just going to just change the white balance a little and just make it slightly more yellow uh, more on the yellow side as opposed to the blue side just to make it appear a little more natural it's uh, it's changed to black and white you know so but I just want to get the file as it should be to start with as I would want it in color so that's all I'm going to do for now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up in Nick Silver Effects Pro 2 Okay, I'm going to say edit, and when we get in here, I'm going to choose one of the presets, and then I'm going to do some stuff, you know, just to improve that. Um, so we're going to go down, and I've got a preset in mind. I want this quite dark and dramatic. So the preset I've got in mind is this low key two, okay. So that's really made the sky 
extremely dramatic straight away. This is just a standard black and white, and this is how we've got it. It just makes the tree stand out and so on. It's just, I knew it, I, I just had a feeling it worked. work. I'm going to remove this film types. How am I going to remove that? Uh, I'm not sure I am, actually. No, I quite like it. I'm going to keep the film types. I thought I was going to remove it, but I'm going to keep that. Okay, but what I am going to do, as I do generally with the NIC plugins, which is why I use them so much, is I'm going to take a selective adjustment. I'm going to take a control point and I'm going to pop it just here. And I want to bring some light back into this area. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the structure up. Okay, you can just see that start to bring out some of the information in this foreground here. I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. And then what I'm also going to do is just brighten that up a bit and there we go and we start to get something back in this grass now that's all I want okay I'm happy for this shadow here this is the shadow that the trees were casting and I like it but I just wanted to bring this tree out the sky I love it's dark it's a little on the noisy side for me but we're going to deal with that in Lightroom so we're going to leave this as it is and we're just going to click save Okay, so here's the image now in Lightroom. And we only got a couple more things to do. In fact, only one more thing to do. I'm really happy with that image as it is. I think it's very striking. The only thing I want to do is I want to bring the noise down in the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a graduated filter and I'm going to pull it down. I'm just going to pop it there. Probably just tweak that around a little bit and this has already got some settings in it so I'm just going to reset a couple of things in fact only one thing I'm just going to bring the noise up the noise reduction right up do full noise reduction the reason I've done it with a graduated filter is I don't want noise reduction in here the noise isn't going to affect here so the area that it's doing is the sky as you can see there okay it's not doing a little bit here let's just brush that in so all we've got to do is if we just okay we take that and we can brush and we can just brush in here gone a bit over the top there but we can always just oops Ctrl Z and we're just going to hold down alt and just brush that away and I'm happy with that so I'll just remove this show selected mask overlay which is a very useful tool and there if we go in now I'm happy with the with the noise reduction there and then we're going to do just one final bit of noise reduction because it's still just a little on the noisy side as far as I'm concerned and I'm going to just do a little bit of noise reduction making sure I don't take too much out of this foreground but just make sure we've got noise reduction on the final image and there we go uh, there is the black and white image that was taken earlier today thanks very much for watching uh, follow me on Flickr uh, on Facebook and uh, subscribe to these videos if you found this interesting Thanks very much for watching.